Hey guys, Tony from NDZ Performance here. And uh, hey, first we want to reach out to everybody and thank you for the support. Uh, obviously the finger extension has been a massive hit. Uh, it's something that we have a hard time keeping in stock right now. Uh, it's definitely a, a manufacturing piece that's pretty intricate, especially with the two-piece assembly. But uh, the 365 for us has been pretty good. Uh, we know you guys have liked the, uh, the 320 accessories. Uh, right down to the rear plate, the mag plates, and lastly the grip modules which we have circle options. So with that said, uh, with the requests of grip modules for the SIG 365, uh, hey we heard you. And basically what we have is we got a couple different options right now for you. Uh, basically a low cost alternative to basically throw one of these grip modules on your, on your firearm and kind of give that cool customization. Uh, so this, so all these are Cerakote. This is the Cerakote Blackout with the tungsten uh, in the U.S. flag pattern. Here we have the Tiger Stripe, uh, black and tungsten. You can actually see the pattern on both sides. So now keep in mind these do vary from part to part. Uh, no two are the same. Uh, do try and keep some kind of consistency. And uh, lastly, what we have for now, this is the Flat Dark Earth with the uh, the stipple option. So I'll give you a little close up here, you can see what the stippling is like. So it definitely offers a little bit more bite, uh, kind of cool to the feel, you know, and it definitely adds to the uh, the whole custom effect, uh, especially with the different coloration. So it definitely stands out compared to your standard uh, black finish here. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, now I'm not going to install one of the new frames, uh, but I just want to go over something because I did see something at the forum, on one of the forums where a gentleman had a pin that was basically free floating. Uh, so before we get started, obviously, we always encourage the use of safety glasses, uh, making sure that your firearm, before you even handle it, make sure that there's no ammo on the table, no magazine, uh, empty, open, and safe with no ammo anywhere. Uh, so with the slide locked to the rear, put your takedown lever down. And release the slide forward, pull it off. And the pin here on the rear, so this is a pin that we're going to have available as well, and we will have PVD options for this, for people that, uh, that do want to replace that. I know for the Glock it's very popular. So this pin right here has got two grooves. So one on each end, and this is the groove right here that actually engages the, uh, the clip here. So pull this, pull this uh, receiver group out a little bit. So on the back side here, so this side does not have a clip. Uh, so when you purchase, or if you purchase the uh, the OEM pin from SIG, you actually, in the package, you'll notice that there's two of these clips. So right here, it's a stainless steel clip. Uh, it's kind of wrapped around the outside here, and you can actually see on the bottom here. So facing towards me, or 6 o'clock, you actually see the, uh, the flat portion of that clip. That's actually what engages that pin and retains it in place. So if anyone has a free-floating pin, that's your problem. So... So either one of two things, either that clip came off, uh, which would be kind of kind of hard to do just because you can see how it's wrapped around. Uh, I, I do not think that that would just readily just fall off. Uh, so the one person that actually had that clip missing, uh, we're going to presume that it probably was not put in uh, from the factory. So it could have been just a bad day uh, or it did get lost in transit somehow. A shock, but I'm going to say it's, it's, it's kind of on there. So it's just falling off. Uh, I wouldn't anticipate. So, uh, and for person replacing this, you just basically take the trigger group out. That's it, and you put in a new frame. So I would do the install, uh, but these puppies are brand new, and I know this one's already spoken for. Is actually a gentleman coming out of New Hampshire, coming down to pick that one up. Uh, and uh, that's it. So we'll put this back together again. So we'll snap it in place. I will take the pin, put it right in, and even with the finger, I'll just you'll actually hear it go click. And there's just a little tiny snap, uh, and that's in place. We will put the slide on, and as we put the slide on, oh, make sure here that this piece right here, this little piece is facing down, otherwise uh, it's not gonna go on. You'll actually hit the rear plate. And that's it, push the slide backward, take on lever, snap forward, and that's it. And you've just installed your grip module, even though mine's still the, uh, the factory one. Uh, so we will have some new plates coming out. Obviously, we're gonna have col color rare plates and a bunch of other stuff, but the purpose of this video is obviously for the grip modules and the cool element of doing this with the Cerakote options. Uh, and we'll definitely have different colors. Uh, we'll definitely have some for the ladies with some cool colors as well. Uh, and uh, 
Like us on Facebook, visit us on Instagram, and uh, also check us out on our website uh, for some cool, great stuff. And you can see that at ndzperformance.com. And uh, hey, thanks for watching, guys. Thank you for your support, and take care.